Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to the BTOSports.com Bottom Line Show. We're here at Unadilla. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse yeah. me, ladies. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, it's round nine of the series. Thanks for coming. That's Gravity Cavity, and this is the BTOSports.com Bottom Line Show. Now, there's a certain guy wearing number seven that's coming back, but that's not even the focus of the story. The real focus is this show, and what we've got for you is Weege goes back to his roots, we've got more GoPro action, memories of Unadilla, and much, much more. Stick around, I promise. I'll make you laugh. Unadilla is one of the oldest tracks on the circuit. It's got a lot of history here. And I thought I'd take you guys through some of the memories that I have of Unadilla and try to show you guys some of the history behind this track. So, with that in mind, we've got the friends, at, my buddies at Kawasaki that loan us this uh, Terrax. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what it's like to go down the famed gravity cavity. Let's check it out. Think of it like a giant thrill ride. Memories of Unadilla continue. It was in this spot, in this sweeper, in 2002, when the rider I worked for, Nick Way, of Moto Triple X fame, top privateer in the Supercross series, by the way, his bike blew up right here, his YZ250. It was near the end of the moto. It was a long, frustrating day for both of us. He still thinks I got some double cheeseburger in the electrics. No matter. He leaned it up against this fence over here, climbed it, and sat in the stands with the spectators. These are the things that happen when I work for you. You sometimes get time to actually watch the race you're in. I'm here with Jason Weege Wygant, one of the announcers of the AMA National Motocross Series. And uh, Weege, there's a rumor going around that uh, you got your start in the sport um, by being one of those bastions of caution. I was the yellow flagger. That's good, solid, honest work. I mean, if you're a fan of motocross, what could be better than being paid $50 a day to watch the motos in English Town in March when it was 18 degrees out? I, it was awesome. Incredible, a flagger. You see folks out there? You two can, can start small and get big, like him. Uh, when's the last time you flagged? I did it from 97 till 2001, so it's been almost a decade, actually, since I was a yellow flagger, but those were good days. How do you think your skills are years later? Flagging? Yeah. Probably like riding, man. Once you're fast, you just kind of never forget. I mean, Wyndham came back and led laps at Millville, so I'm sure I can do it. Well, let's see exactly how you can do it. We've got a yellow flag, and I want to see how good your skills are. Bring it on. Let's check it out. Slow it down, slow it down. Be careful, be careful. Slow it down, guys. Caution, we're in the pits. Yeah. Gotta be careful, guys. We're in the pits. What you're looking at here, folks, the old mechanics area. I used to love it up here. A little tree turn right there. It actually gave you an opportunity to board your rider at two different places. And by board, I'm trying to be the cool guy. and That means pit board as a mechanic. So they no longer have this as a mechanics area, and that's a darn shame. Caution, everybody. Listen, these are hot babes. Hands off. Don't get too close. You be careful, all right? Everybody slow it down. Don't take this too fast. It's good. Thank you. Hey, you don't like commercials? I don't like commercials. I do like chicken wings, but without BTOSports.com, this cheese ball show wouldn't have happened, so pay attention to this commercial. Folks, this is the spot in 2005 where Tim Ferry's pressed in brass insert in the petcock of his carburetor of his YZ450 that I built fell out. It was right here on this spot. So what did he end up doing? The resourceful red dog stopped, jammed it back in, and continued on the rest of the race. Again, when I'm your mechanic, these things seem to happen. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 
we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, look out, we got a rider coming through. Look out. Caution, everybody. Thank you. There we go. Thank you, no problem. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Just racing. Memories of Unadilla continues. Look who I found out on the track. JGR Yamaha, Justin Brayton. Uh, Brayton, this is the infamous screw you. What kind of memories you got of this? I have a few memories here, actually. Uh, my first year here, pouring down rain, last lap, me and Brownie were battling for like, I don't know, 12th or something. Not very good, but uh, went to pass him. He blows me off the track. I come back up. I actually had a better drive than him because mm -hmm. I was off the track. Yep. And group. pass yeah. him back. And uh, that's probably my best memory, okay. but uh, passing Brownie national champion. Let me ask you this, have you ever come down here, gone by a rider and yelled, screw you? I might do that this weekend, actually. Yeah. That might get in their head a little bit, huh? I would try that. Yeah, I am going to try that. Thanks, Mathis. Just trying to help. Memories of Dilla. No, 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 no. High fat, high sugar, high fat. Nope, nope. No, 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 that's dangerous. That's bad for you. Here, have, have some bananas. No, 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 that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Have some bananas. It's good for you. Okay, here we go. 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 Here